I won't forget what you've done here. No one will. Thank you. And so it was that the lone wanderer ventured forth from Vault 101, intent on discovering the fate of a father who had once sacrificed the future of humanity for that of his only child. The Capital Wasteland proved a cruel, inhospitable place, but the lone wanderer refused to surrender to the vices that had claimed so many others. The values passed on from father to child, selflessness, compassion, honor, guided this noble soul through countless trials and triumphs. But it was not until the end of this long road that the Lone Wanderer learned the true meaning of that greatest of virtues, sacrifice. Stepping into the irradiated control chamber of Project Purity, the child followed the example of the father, sacrificing life itself for the greater good of mankind. Thankfully, when selected by the sinister president to be his instrument of annihilation, the Wanderer refused. Humanity, with all its flaws, was deemed worthy of preservation. The waters of life flowed at last, free and pure for any and all. The capital wasteland, at long last, was saved. So ends the story of the Lone Wanderer, who stepped through the great door of Vault 101 and into the annals of legend. But the tale of humanity will never come to a close, for the struggle of survival is a war without end. And war... War never changes. Revelation 21.6 I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. I don't really know how to tell you this. I hope you'll understand, but I know you might be angry. I thought about it for a long time, but in the end, I decided it was best for you not to know. So many things could have gone wrong, and there's really no telling how the Overseer will react when he finds out. It's best if he can blame everything on me. Obviously, you already know that I'm gone. It was something I needed to do. You're an adult now. You're ready to be on your own. Maybe someday things will change and we can see each other again. I can't tell you why I left or where I'm going. I don't want you to follow me. God knows life in the vault isn't perfect, but at least you'll be safe. Just knowing that will be enough to keep me going. Goodbye. I love you. Retreated. We have a location you know, to help at all. We have you a mean Comatos. 
After all this, to be left in a state like that? Breaking into that. Careful now, careful. Don't move too quickly. Everything's fine, you're safe. You're in the Citadel. I was starting to think you might never wake up, despite assurances to the contrary. I've been coming down here every day to see both you and my daughter. It's good that at least one of you has recovered. Yes, yes, she's fine. Oh, she will be. I appreciate your concern for her, but really don't worry. You've been through enough. Please, relax. Everything is fine. You were brought back to the Citadel after some sort of energy spike in the purifier. You and Sarah were both knocked unconscious. Quite a bit has happened since then. Indeed it did. The tidal basin is full of fresh, clean water now. We've been working to see that it's distributed to as many people as possible across the Wasteland. In fact, I'm hopeful that soon we won't be referring to the Wasteland any longer. None of this would have been possible without the efforts of both you and your father. I doubt we shall ever be able to truly repay you. Yes, we most certainly did. Between your help in destroying their headquarters, and their subsequent defeat at the Purifier, the Enclave was thrown into disarray. Liberty Prime has been assisting our forces in removing any remaining Enclave forces. Just about two weeks. Don't worry, we've been taking good care of you. Well, that's really up to you, isn't it? The Brotherhood has a clear plan of action. The remnants of the Enclave must be swept away. The Pride has been working to this end ever since we took the Purifier back. The only remaining question is whether we can count on you to help us. Indeed. We can use every able body available to us. To that end, I am going to circumvent our standard recruitment procedures and declare you a Knight of the Brotherhood of Steel. Before you do anything else, please speak with Scribe Rothschild. I'm sure he'll be pleased to see you again. He can brief you on the details of the last few weeks, as well as where our efforts are focused now. I understand that you've been through quite an ordeal, but the sooner you can talk to him, the sooner we can put an end to all this. As you know, I had my reservations about engaging the Enclave. They did not directly attack us, and I believed we had time. Time to be cautious. Their assault on the Purifier forced our hand. We had no choice but to engage them directly. And once that engagement was begun, we could do nothing but see it through to the end. If they had not considered us a threat before, they do now. So, we have spent the time since you and I last spoke, systematically locating and destroying every bastion of Enclave force we can. Liberty Prime has proven far more successful than any of us could have hoped for. The Brotherhood has taken over control of the Purifier, and is managing distribution of the water to the people of the Wasteland. If you travel there, speak with Scribe Bigsley. He's heading up the on-site operation. Please be careful. I would hate to lose you again. Did you need something? Unit deactivating. This troop is hitting the rack. I had hoped you'd return. What now? With all due haste. And I shall follow. Well, 
Well, it's good to see that you're on your feet again. I assume Lyons is immediately throwing you to the wolves? Has he told you what's been going on while you've been resting? Yes, I believe I can. Step over here for a moment, will you? I'll give you a brief history of what's happened over the last few weeks and what's going on now. As you well know, this all began with the Enclave's occupation of Project Purity here. Thanks to you, their main headquarters here was utterly destroyed. They then suffered a second defeat at the Purifier. Based on a combination of intelligence and field reports, other Enclave locations throughout the Wasteland were found. Cut off from their leadership, it was expected that their forces would be in complete disarray. This has not been the case. Based on data and tech gathered from these locations, we've determined that the Enclave forces are still maintaining remote communications. We isolated the transmissions and found their origin point, an old military installation in Rockland to the southwest. Our advanced scouts have checked over the area, but no easy access to the facility was found. So we're making our own access point. Paladin Tristan is leading the team setting up forward base in an old car tunnel near the site. Once he's settled, Liberty Prime will be deployed. Prime's directive is to neutralize their defenses and create an entry point for the team. The team will move in, eliminate any opposition inside, and cut off their transmitter. Any relevant data should be brought back here. Now, did you have any other questions? If there's anything else you'd like to know, I'll tell you what I can. Otherwise, Paladin Tristan will be waiting. I'll alert him that you're on your way. Performance is exceeding all our expectations. He's been especially effective against the Enclave's vertebrates, for which we previously had no counter. We're fine-tuning his programming as we go, but on the whole, I'm pleasantly surprised. It's as I always suspected. Prime's real issue was energy management. And when Dr. Lee helped us solve that problem, well, <laughs> the rest was easy. It was determined that the Brotherhood should directly oversee the purifier, as so as to prevent any mishaps. Scribe Bigsley was placed in charge of the operation and is directly overseeing our efforts. And so you go. I think we can handle this. not for sale. Believe me, you also guys aren't the only ones who know how to put Don't down a raid. Don't mess with us if you know what's good for Hey, game. So much to do. So much to do. So little time to do it. Caravans return. Excellent. Did anyone die? Don't bother Bigsley. He's not having a very good day.
Hey, good to see you. I heard you had a bit of a problem getting the purifier started. Sorry about that. We're looking into exactly what happened. Anyway, it's great to see you on your feet again. We wouldn't be here now without you. Oh, well, she, uh, after what happened to you when the purifier started, I think she just kind of had enough. It was really hard on her, you know? First losing your dad, and then the Enclave, and then the Brotherhood taking over here. It was really just too much for her. So I guess she packed up a few things and headed off north, towards the Commonwealth. Rumor has it there's a scientific community up there. I sure hope she finds what she's looking for. Me? Well, I figured after all the work we already put into this place, we could help the Brotherhood keep things running smoothly. It's worked out pretty well so far, I think. They're not necessarily the friendliest bunch, but I've been doing what I can to get along with them. Catch you around! Look, I'm busy. Can we do this some other time? You haven't heard? I guess I shouldn't be surprised. She basically folded. After the purifier was started, she decided she'd had enough and headed up north. Said she was looking for the Commonwealth, like she'd ever make it on her own. Tell you what, you run into her, you tell her Daniel sends his regards. What's it look like? I'm doing my work, same as I've always done. These Brotherhood scribes wouldn't know what to do with half the equipment here if their lives depended on it. I'm basically running this place from behind the scenes, no matter what Bigsley tells you. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Wasteland hustlers? And a pack of Brahmin? What about our men? I'm not wasting any more resources. Yes, sir. If Lyons wants to chase after his deliveries, fine. Let, let him do it. But I'm done wasting resources and risking lives on this pet project of his. For what it's worth, you aren't the only one who feels that way. Thank you. Now kindly get the hell out of here. I need to think. You know, I didn't sign up with the Brotherhood to be an I errand. I <laughs> really need to clean this place up. Gotta hand it to you, kid. That was a brave thing you did, risking your life to start the purifier. But, do you know? You've made my life a living hell. I'm guessing not. The hero of the Wasteland probably has more important things to worry about, don't you? Excuse me, I'm Bigsley, and I'm just a tad stressed out. Perhaps you saw that little line outside my door? Everyone was so excited about that purifier. Project Purity this, and Project Purity that. But did anyone stop to ask, Hey, what are we gonna do with all that clean water? Well, guess who gets to fill in that tiny detail? It, 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 it'd be one thing if I had support, but that, that little war with the Enclave has depleted much of the Brotherhood's resources. And to top it off, I have to be mommy to a bunch of lab coats. Really? Well, yeah, there's plenty of things I need help with. But most of it's pushing papers and knocking sense into giant eggheads. Eh, task for any acolyte, really. I'm sure I could put your experience and talents to far better use. Well, I've got Rivet City water caravans needing help with some uh, unusually organized bandits. Need someone to go investigate what that's all about. And then there's Megaton. They want more Aqua Pura. I just sent a shipment to them. Need someone to go visit Megaton and see what their problem is. Don't get me started about Rivet City. They feel entitled to everything. Always whining about how they're our scientists and all that crap. Like they did us a favor. Thought the security deal we'd worked out with them would be a win-win. And my hope was they'd completely take over the water caravan escorts by now. But I got Officer Le Pelletier bitching about an organized bandit syndicate. 
Guess they don't have the chops after all. I need you to go visit Officer Le Pelletier and lend a hand. Great. Hopefully you can get them straightened out. We really can't do this without them. I don't know what to think. I got lions breathing down my neck about it, though. Apparently, Megaton's sending him nasty letters demanding a shipment. I just sent them a week's supply. A month's if they ration. Look, if you can straighten out Megaton so I get lions off my back, I'll make it worth your while. Really? Oh, that's great. Uh, I'm sorry I can't offer you any support in this. All our resources are uh, tied up at the moment. Good luck. Oh, and uh, of course I'll have a little something for your efforts, if you're successful. Yeah, stay safe out there. Well, by all means, I'd love to answer some questions. I've got nothing better to do. She apparently decided to pursue more interesting projects up north in the Commonwealth. The real reason? She couldn't handle us scribes improving upon her work. She's the kind of woman who needs to be in charge of everything. Good luck to her out there in the wasteland. <laughs> it's a long walk to the Commonwealth. Can't say she'll be missed. Um, because it's not irradiated? Really? You couldn't work that one out for yourself. I don't think anyone really knows the answer to that. Seems to be going rather quickly, though. I'm sure you can imagine the chaos if we just let anyone who wanted to wade into the basin and fill up a jug. Frankly, there just isn't the time or the resources to deal with that crowd control nightmare. You take a bottle, you dunk it underwater, and glug, 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 it fills up. Amazing. But you're right, a machine would help, but all the scribes are busy reverse engineering Enclave gear. A machine that puts water in bottles just isn't on anyone's priority list at the moment. Yeah, well, when you remember what it was you were going to ask, take it up with one of the other scribes, okay? Thanks. If you're here looking for water, I'm afraid I can't help you. All the water is at Project Purity. If you want a handout, head over to the Jefferson Memorial and ask for Scribe Bigsley. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm busy coordinating military operations. Oh, he did? Huh, I was beginning to think he forgot about us. Not sure how much you know. There's been an increase in attacks on the caravans. Seems organized, and not just the random raider or mutant encounter. I'm running out of resources, and I'm down to my greenest men. I want to get to the bottom of these coordinated attacks. The sooner, the better. Great. I can really use a strong arm on this one. I need you to escort a caravan from Project Purity to Canterbury Commons. If or rather, when they get ambushed, I need you to figure out who's behind the attack. I'm pretty certain any caravan will be attacked. This particular caravan also happens to have my most junior men escorting it. They could really use someone with Wasteland experience leading the team. After protecting the caravan, track down the attacker's base of operations and put an end to it once and for all. Great. I had a feeling you would. Officers Davis and Lauren should have just left Project Purity. If you hurry, you'll catch them. Their course hugs the river closely. If you head north, following the river from Project Purity, you should catch up to them. Please, hurry! Later. <laughs>